Imagine standing before the throne of the Almighty God, heart open and spirit ready to receive His divine touch. Imagine speaking words so powerful they bring healing to your soul, miracles to your life, and blessings to you every day. This is the essence of the Lord's Prayer, a prayer given to us by Jesus Himself. It is not just a mere recitation, but a divine blueprint for connecting intimately with our Heavenly Father. Stay with us as we embark on a transformative journey, exploring the depths of this sacred prayer and discovering how to pray to our Father with reverence, faith, and heartfelt devotion. Expect to receive healings, miracles, blessings, and abundance as we dive deep into the Lord's Prayer. When the disciples, in awe of Jesus' communion with God, asked, Lord, teach us to pray, He gifted them with a prayer that transcends time and circumstance a prayer that can bring blessings, healings, and miracles into their life. This prayer, known as the Lord's Prayer and recorded in Matthew chapter 6, verses 9 through 13, is not just a set of words, but a divine guide for our spiritual journey. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever. Amen. The prayer begins with, Our Father in heaven, establishing a divine relationship. God is not a distant deity, but a loving Father inviting us into a personal and intimate connection with Him so He can bless us and bring healing into our lives. This acknowledgement is crucial as it sets the tone for the entire prayer and our approach to God. Addressing God as our Father is a reminder of the close relationship we have with Him, a relationship based on love, respect, reverence, and healing. God is our Father and wants to be involved in whatever concerns us. Inviting God into every aspect of our lives is not just an act of faith, but a necessity. It is through this intimate relationship that we experience His guidance, wisdom, blessings, healings, and miracles. The Lord's Prayer serves as a comprehensive guide for this journey, touching every part of our human experience. Hallowed be your name is a declaration of God's holiness. To hallow means to honor as holy, to revere, to hold in the highest regard. By beginning our prayer this way, we recognize God's sacredness and signify our desire to honor Him in all we do. It is also a way of exalting the name of Jesus, which is above every other name. When we revere His name, he will bless us and pour down His healings and miracles upon us. The next line says, Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Here we submit to God's divine will, asking for His kingdom to be established in our lives and the world. It's a plea for God's righteous rule to manifest on earth, bringing healing, blessings, and miracles into our daily experiences. When we pray for God's kingdom to come, we are asking for His rule and reign to be evident in our hearts, homes, communities, and world. It's a prayer for justice, peace, and righteousness, surrendering our will to His perfect plans. Give us this day our daily bread expresses our dependence on God for our needs. It is a humble acknowledgement that every good gift, including healing, comes from Him. This petition is not just for physical sustenance, but also spiritual nourishment. We rely on God to provide for us each day, trusting Him to meet our needs and bless us abundantly. And forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors centers on forgiveness. 
We ask God to forgive our sins, knowing that His mercy is endless. The Bible says that if we confess our sins, He is willing and just to forgive us. As Christ forgives us of our iniquities, we commit to forgiving those who have wronged us, embodying the grace we have received. This mutual forgiveness is key to experiencing God's healings, miracles, and blessings in our lives. By forgiving others, we open our hearts to receive God's forgiveness, healing our spirits, blessing our lives, and mending relationships. And do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one, acknowledges our need for God's protection. We seek His strength to resist temptation, for His healing power, and His guidance to lead us away from the snares of the enemy. This part of the prayer is a request for divine intervention in our daily struggles, trusting God to deliver us from evil, bless us, and keep us safe. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. We close the prayer by affirming God's eternal sovereignty. This doxology is a powerful declaration that all power, glory, and honor belong to Him forever. It's a statement of faith and trust, recognizing God's ultimate authority and celebrating His eternal reign. As we reflect on the Lord's Prayer, we see how it encompasses every aspect of our lives. It begins with adoration, acknowledging God's holiness and sovereignty. It moves to submission, asking for His will to be done in our lives. It includes petitions for our daily needs, forgiveness, and protection. It concludes with praising God for His eternal kingdom and power. This prayer is a model for us, guiding us in how to pray to our Father, who will, in turn, bless us and send His miracles and healings upon us. When we pray, we are not just speaking words into the air. We are communicating with the Creator of the universe, who is our Father. We are talking to a God who wants to bless us and see us basking in miracles, healings, and abundance. We are engaging in a sacred dialogue with our Heavenly Father, who loves us deeply and desires to have a relationship with us. Prayer is a powerful tool that brings healing, miracles, and blessings into our lives. It is through prayer that we align our hearts with God's will and invite His presence into our circumstances. Let us remember the words of Jesus in John chapter 14, verses 13 and 14. And whatever you ask in my name that I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. When we pray in Jesus' name, we are invoking His authority and power. We are acknowledging that He is our mediator and advocate before the Father. We are placing our trust in His promises and believing that He will bless us and answer our prayers according to His perfect will. Let us commit to making prayer a central part of our lives. Let us approach our Heavenly Father with confidence, knowing that He hears us and is eager to respond. Let us seek His presence daily, trusting in His power to bring healing, miracles, and blessings into our lives. As we delve into the Lord's Prayer, we see it is more than a prayer. It is a way of life. It's a guide for our relationship with God, a means to invite His presence, blessings, and miracles into our lives. Now, let us enter into a heartfelt, comprehensive prayer to our Father, pouring out our hearts and seeking His divine touch. Stay with us until the end to allow your hearts to receive the full blessings of this blessed prayer from Jesus. I encourage you to say this prayer daily to see God's work in your life. To our wondrous, sovereign, living, loving God, let us pray. Our most precious Heavenly Father, we come before you today in thanksgiving 
and adoration to your name. We bless your name and thank you for the privilege of being able to converse with you through prayer, just like Jesus himself taught us. We approach you knowing that you are our loving Father, eager to bless us, listen to us, and respond to our needs. Our Father in heaven, we say, hallowed be your name. We lift your name high, acknowledging your holiness and greatness. You are the creator of heaven and earth, the one who holds the universe in your hands. We honor and glorify your name, for you are worthy of all praise and adoration. We stand in awe of your majesty and power. Your name is above all names, and we revere it. We recognize that you are holy, righteous, and pure. You are the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. We bless and worship you, Lord, declaring that you are the only true God. We pray, Lord, that your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Father, we submit to your divine will. We pray for your kingdom to be established in our lives and the world around us. Let your righteousness, peace, blessings, healings, and joy reign in our hearts and communities. May your purposes be fulfilled in and through us. We pray for our homes, our workplaces, our schools, and even our communities. We ask for your justice to prevail, for your love to be evident, for your blessings to be present, and for your light to shine in the darkness. Lord, we surrender our plans, our desires, and our ambitions to you. We trust that your ways are higher than our ways, and that your thoughts are higher than our thoughts. We pray for your guidance, wisdom, healing, miracles, and blessings. Lead us, Lord, in the path of righteousness for your name's sake. Father, we pray that you bless us and give us this day our daily bread. Lord, we acknowledge our dependence on you for all our needs. We trust you to provide for us, not only physically, but also spiritually. We ask for your blessings, miracles, and provision each day. Fill us with your wisdom, strength, and grace. Nourish our souls with your word, and let your presence be our sustenance. We pray for your provision in our lives, Lord. You are Jehovah Jireh, our provider. We thank you for meeting our needs according to your riches in glory. We pray for those who are in need today that you would provide for them as well. We ask for your healing for those who are sick, your comfort for those who are grieving, and your strength for those who are weary. Lord, we also ask for spiritual nourishment. Feed us with your word and fill us with your Holy Spirit. Help us to grow in our faith and to draw closer to you each day. We thank you for the blessings you have already given us, and we trust you for the blessings yet to come. Father, we come before you with repentant hearts, asking for your forgiveness. We acknowledge our sins and shortcomings, knowing that we fall short of your glory. Cleanse us, Lord, and make us whole. As we receive your forgiveness, help us to extend that same grace to others. Help us to forgive those who have wronged us, just as you have forgiven us. Let forgiveness flow freely in our hearts, bringing healing and reconciliation. Lord, we confess our sins to you today. We acknowledge that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed. We have not loved you with our whole hearts and we have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Father, as we forgive those who have sinned against us, we release any bitterness, resentment, or anger we hold in our hearts. We ask for your healing in our relationships. We ask for healing in our hearts. 
We pray for reconciliation and peace. Help us to be agents of your love and grace, showing compassion and mercy to those around us. We know that forgiveness brings healing, not only to our hearts, but also to our bodies and minds. Thank you, Lord, for the freedom that comes from forgiving others. Lord, we ask for your protection and guidance. Strengthen us to resist the temptations and trials that come our way. Keep us safe from the snares of the enemy. Deliver us from evil and surround us with your angels. Lead us on the path of righteousness and help us to walk in your ways. Do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one and his evil schemes against us. Lord, we pray for healing in our lives. We ask for physical, emotional, and spiritual healing. We pray for those who are sick, that you would touch their bodies and restore their health. We pray for those who are struggling with emotional pain, that you would bring comfort, peace, and healing to them. We pray for those who are spiritually weary, that you would renew their strength and fill them with your Spirit. For everyone whom the enemy has afflicted with sickness, I declare healing upon them. For your word says, By your stripes we are healed. Let that healing be manifested right now in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray for miracles in our lives. We believe that you are a God of miracles and that nothing is impossible for you. We ask for miraculous breakthroughs in our circumstances. We pray for provision where there is lack, for restoration where there is brokenness, and for deliverance where there is bondage. We trust in your power to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think. We call you a miracle-working God. Therefore, let there be an overflow of miracles in our lives, both expected miracles and unexpected miracles. Lord, we pray for your blessings in our lives. We ask for your favor to surround us with a shield. We pray for your blessings to overflow in our homes, our families, our work, and our relationships. Bless your people with the fruit of the womb. Bless us with new jobs. Bless us with promotion at work. Bless us with unprecedented academic success. Bless us with good health. Bless us with houses that we can call our own. Bless us with good spouses. Bless us with all our heart desires and long for. May we continue to flourish in your goodness and blessings. We thank you, Lord, for the blessings you have already given us, and we trust you for the blessings yet to come. Father, we acknowledge your eternal sovereignty. We declare that all power, glory, and honor belong to you alone. Your kingdom is everlasting, and your dominion endures through all generations. We bow before your throne, submitting to your authority and praising your holy name. Lord, we are in awe of your majesty and power. You are the King of kings and the Lord of lords. We worship you and give you all the glory and honor. You are worthy of all our praise. We trust in your sovereign rule and believe that you are working all things for our good and your glory. Heavenly Father, we bless your holy name for all you have done for us. We thank you for the Lord's Prayer, which you taught us as a model for how to pray. We are grateful for the opportunity to come before you, knowing that you hear us and care about every detail of our lives. We thank you for your faithfulness, your love, and your grace. Thank you once more for the healings, miracles, abundance, and blessings that you freely bestow upon us. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory for all eternity. Thank you, Lord, for listening and answering my prayer. In the mighty, precious, and powerful name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Type the words. Praise Jesus in the comments if you feel this prayer has blessed you. 
In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I proclaim all these prayer blessings cover you. I urge you to say this prayer daily to see God's work in your life. Share with us your testimonial when God works in your life in the comments so others will be inspired by the Lord's work. You can help us reach even more people and help spread the gospel by sharing this video with a family member or friend. And remember to subscribe and like our videos to reach others. Our channel will keep you uplifted and help your relationship with the Lord. Leave any prayer requests below so our Holy Family can pray for you. Additionally, others on this platform and globally seeing this can pray for you. All glory belongs to God alone. May the amazing grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ dwell within each of you.